डायरेक्टेड बाय इम्तियाज अली अमर सिंह चमकीला स्टारिंग दिलजीत दुसांज एंड परिणीति चोपड़ा इन द लीड रोल्स इज अबाउट टू बी रिलीज्ड ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स प्रीटी सून एज द बायोग्राफिकल म्यूजिकल इज अबाउट टू बी रिलीज्ड ऑन द स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म विथआउट दिस वुड बी द परफेक्ट टाइम टू डिस्कस द रियल लाइफ रेफरेंसेस ऑफ द फिल्म सो दैट यू कैन हैव द बेस्ट व्यूइंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड या व्हाइल यू आर एट इट प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल इट हेल्प्स अस अ लॉट थैंक यू एंड लेट्स मूव ऑन The film is based on the titular character considered the OG Punjabi popster named Amar Singh Chamkila. According to a Wikipedia article, Chamkila's lively language, his high-pitched songs and his original compositions accompanied by a masterful tumbi made him famous. His themes mainly concern the objectification of women, alcoholism, sexual violence and domestic violence. Amar Singh Chamkila is considered one of the most influential Punjabi artists and performing artists that Punjab has ever produced. His music was heavily influenced by the Punjabi village life in which he grew up. His best known hits Pehle Lalkare Naal and his devotional songs Baba Tera Nankana, Targa Ravidas Di Pathri and Talwar Mein Kal Gidar Di were chart busters at that time. Although he never recorded it himself, he wrote the hugely popular Jadd Di Dushmani which has been recorded by many Punjabi artists. He became famous thanks to his very first recorded song Takwee Te Takwa. Amar Singh Chamkila was born as Dhaniram on July 21, 1960 to a Dalit Sikh family in Dugri village near Ludhiana, Punjab, India. His ambitions to become an electrician remained unfulfilled and he found work in a textile factory in Ludhiana. With a natural aptitude for music, he learned the harmonium and the dholki. In 1979, Chamkila first approached Surinder Shinda with his best friend Kuldeep Paras on a bicycle. When Shinda heard 18-year-old Chamkila singing, he finally found the prodigy he was looking for. Chamkila went on to perform alongside Punjabi folk artists like KD, Mohammad Sadiq and Shinda. He wrote several songs for Shinda and accompanied him as a member of his entourage before deciding to pursue a solo career. Adopting the stage name Amar Singh Chamkila, Chamkila by the way means one who shines in Punjabi. He first worked with singer Surinder Sonia who had previously worked with Surinder Shinda. Sonia felt left out after Shinda took Gulshan Komal on a tour of Canada after which she was pushing Chamkila to record his debut album. The pair recorded eight duets and released the album Takwete Takwa in 1980 with music produced by Chanjit Ahuja. The cleverly formulated lyrics which he had written himself became hits across Punjab. In 1980 Chamkila felt he was being significantly underpaid by Surinder Sonia's manager her husband and decided to form his own group. Chamkila ended into short-lived theatre collaborations with Miss Usha Kiran, Amar Nuri, and others. For the most part, Chamkila wrote his own lyrics, most of which were boyish and suggestive, yet flowing commentary on extramarital affairs, alcohol, and drug use. The couple's appeal not only grew in Punjab, but they soon achieved international fame among Punjabis abroad. Around this time, Chamkila was set to receive more bookings than his peers. The biography Awaaz Maar Di Nahi by Gulzar Singh Shauki in his research revealed that at the peak of his popularity Chamkila performed 366 shows in 365 days. However, Chamkila and his second wife Amarjot were killed along with two members of the group on March 8, 1988 in an assassination attempt that remains unsolved to this day. When they arrived in Mishampur, Punjab to perform at around 2 p.m. on March 8, 1988, Chamkila and Amarjot were shot dead as they got out of their vehicle. A gang of bikers fired several shots, fatally wounding the couple and other members of the entourage. However, no arrests were ever made in connection with the shooting, and the case was never solved. This is believed to have been carried out by Sikh militants. This theory, however, was disproven by his close friend and lyricist Swan Sivia, who independently investigated the murder. Swan Sivia and Chamkila met with some activists to apologize and promised to change the themes of his songs. He then performed timeless songs on Sikh history including Satho Baba Kola Tera Nankana. Swan Sivia remains skeptical that Khalistan militants were responsible for his assassination saying that all of his life he had continued to investigate who was behind his friend's assassination. After getting to know about the man I'm really excited to see the film on Netflix and see what Diljit Dosanjh brings to the table with his performance. Amar Singh Chamkila is later to be released on April 12, 2024. Hey 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 thank you for watching this video do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding Amar Singh Chamkila on Netflix hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series see you at the next one and for the timing we're signing off acha chalta hu and i'll be back